Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is the last day of seven days of holiday slay and I'm coming to you with this beautiful eye tutorial. So I have hooded eyes and it's always really hard to get a really good cut crease. So I'm really gonna give you guys some tips, show you how to do this so that your eye makeup doesn't get lost in the folds of your eye if you have hooded eyes. If you don't have hooded eyes, then <laughs> this should be quite you know, easy for you. But I'm gonna show you guys how I achieve this, including this beautiful, beautiful red cranberry-ish liner. And guess what? I used liquid lipstick for that. Yes, yes I did. <laughs> so don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel and give this a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the series. If you've missed any of the tutorials, don't forget to go ahead and check the playlist. It's down on the main page of my channel titled seven days of holiday slay and you'll be able to watch all the videos all right so let's get straight to the tutorial so first things first you know we got to prime our eyes because if you have hooded eyes like me you don't want to risk your eyeshadow transferring whatsoever so next up I'm going to add this light transition color. It's called Burnt Orange and it's from the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This palette is super, super, super bomb. And to start off with this cut crease, I'm adding a brown color. It's called Cypress Umber from the same palette. And I'm going really slowly, you guys. I'm faking my own cut crease. So you want to make it above your actual crease in your eye so that it doesn't disappear, you know, into the folds of your eye when you open your eye wide, if that makes sense. And I'm using a smudge brush. I believe this is like really old from Crown Brush. And now I'm blending this out. I'm using an e.l.f. crease brush and it's so freaking cheap, you guys. It's like a dollar. You can get it at Walmart. Walmart's always coming through for the drugstore sleigh. And you just want to blend this out so that it's nice and smooth. You know, you don't want it to look choppy or patchy at all. We want a nice, elegant cut crease. And now I'm switching over to my Sephora blending brush. I really like this because I feel like it can get in there and be just a little bit more precise, you know? Um, I'll have that one linked down in the description box because I can't remember off the top of my head what that is. And I'm just blending in an upward motion. And blend, 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 you guys. That's what a cut crease is all about lots and lots of blending all right so now I just kind of wanted to spice this up I'm taking the color real gar and I'm using a flat brush to just add a little bit of dimension right under the outer part of the like cut crease line and then I'm just blending that out so that it's nice and smooth All right, so now I'm gonna add the main lid color. This is Primavera, and I'm using just a regular old flat shadow brush and patting it in there. This palette has a lot of fallout, so you wanna make sure to tap any excess off, on your, off of your brush <laughs> before you add it onto your eye. And then I'm using an angled brush to really go ahead and define that little wing there that I'm creating. And see, it's kind of nice. It's got, you know, a little bit of dimension with the Primavera and the orange color. It's great. And I'm just adding a little bit of black to the cut crease line because I kind of just want to, like, define it a bit more. I don't want it to be so brown. I want it to be just a little bit darker. And, of course, blending. Ooh, so now this is my favorite part. <laughs> I'm using a liquid lipstick. This is Too Faced. It's from Too Faced. And I'm adding I'm using like a lip brush and I'm gonna make my own winged liner and I was so surprised at how well this works so basically I'm just you know creating it just like normal 
really close to the lash line and I almost found this easier to use than like a lot of the um, eyeliner pens and gels and all the eyeliner products that I've had I this was just like so easy to work with you know it didn't dry super fast so I could go ahead and fix any mistakes that I made I was super super pleased and you guys have to check out this freaking wing like oh look so freaking leaky like you'll see by the time I finish this you guys I was so happy with it I almost didn't even want to take off my makeup when it was time to go to bed you know I just wanted to keep that wing in my life like forever and ever and look there you have it. So now I'm going to add Real Guard to my bottom lash line just to kind of, you know, smoke it out a little bit, add some dimension in there. I want to like also add it right under the wing, you know, to kind of, I don't know, I just think it kind of looks cool. There's no real reason. I, it just looks fly. <laughs> That's it. Okay, so now I'm also highlighting my inner corners and I'm using the color Vermeer. And of course, you know, I had to add some lashes. I gotta make this super drama. And these are the Sephora lashes in the number 20. They're called Hipster. And then I'm gonna add some mascara. This is from Maybelline and it's really, really, really good at just making your lashes look so freaking dramatic. Oh my goodness, it's super, super bomb. So that's the final look. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I thought this was super cute and creative and a really great way to end this video series, Seven Days of Holiday Slay. If you guys try it, please tag me on Instagram. I love you guys.